that if you talk to your plants, they will respond. And it worked in reverse. Once there was a little boy. When the little boy was two years old, his mommy and daddy bought a house. The house had two bedrooms. One bedroom was for the mommy and daddy. The other was for the little boy. One day, the mommy, the daddy, and the little boy walked all around their yard. The daddy said, when I was little, When I was little, we had a cherry tree. I climbed its branches, and it had wonderful cherry pies. I had a cherry tree too, the mommy said. Let's plant one in our yard. So that very day, the mommy, the daddy, and the little boy drove to a tree farm. There they go off in their car. There they walked among many cherry trees. As the boy passed the smallest one, the tiny sprout rustled its leaves. Pick me, pick me, it said. The boy called to his mommy and daddy, I like this one. It wants to come home with us. The mommy smiled and studied the little tree's shape. The daddy looked at its price tag. Yes, they said, it is perfect. So the newest family member rode home, cradled in the little boy's arms. Once there, the daddy set the cherry tree in a wheelbarrow. Now we shall plant it, the daddy said. Like our little boy, we must care for it every day. The mommy said, a cherry tree needs plenty of sun. Yes, said the daddy, and he wheeled past tall oak trees. And it will be thirsty, the mommy said. So the daddy brought the wheelbarrow close to the water stream. Just then the cherry tree rustled its leaves. The little boy listened and stood in a sunny place near his bedroom window. It will be happy here, he said. The daddy smiled and planted the cherry tree right where the little boy pointed. In May, white blossoms burst upon the tree's branches. In June, green buds sprouted on every stem. And in July, plump red cherries covered the tree. It rustled its leaves. The little boy ran to his mommy and daddy saying, our cherry tree is calling. The mommy, the daddy, and the little boy gathered the cherries. The daddy pitted the cherries, and the mommy made pie dough. They opened the oven and put the pie into the oven. After a long time, the mommy removed the pie. The crust was brown and crisp. Yummy red juice bubbled over its edges, and it tasted so good. One day, the green leaves turned yellow and dropped to the ground. Is our cherry tree sick, the little boy asked. Oh, no, said the daddy. Winter is coming. It will nap until spring. For three months, winds howled, snow covered the bare branches. The boy watched from his window. The cherry tree looked dead. But when May came, warm rain metal melted the snow. Blossoms blanketed the branches. In June, green leaves and tiny buds erupted from every stem. In July, the cherry tree rustled its leaves. Plump red cherries begged to be picked. And something else happened. The little boy had a baby brother. And the whole family had wonderful cherry pies. Three winters passed, and the boy had two more little brothers. One day, the mommy said to the daddy, We need more bedrooms. Yes, said the daddy, but to make space, I must move the cherry tree. Its roots are deep. It may not live. But we must try, the mommy said, like our boys. The cherry tree is family. So the, dad, the daddy dug around the cherry tree's roots and set it in a wheelbarrow. The little boy followed his daddy around the yard. Presently, the cherry tree rustled its leaves. The boy listened. He said to his daddy, Our cherry tree will be happy here. So the daddy planted the tree in its new place. Then the daddy added two bedrooms to the house. That summer and for many years after, the cherry tree grew. So did the little boy. One by one, the boy and his brothers married, moved away, and had babies of their own. The children loved to visit the cherry tree. Its leaves rustled. It was happy. 
Soon there were many grandchildren. The mommy said to the daddy, again, our house is too small. Yes, said the daddy, I would like a home on a lake where our grandchildren can play and swim and fish. So the mommy and daddy drove all through the countryside. They came to a house on a beautiful lake. Swans swam, fish jumped, flowers bloomed, birds sang, deer, rabbits, and squirrels romped in the woods. The mommy said, it's like in a fairy tale. Pause. Yes, said the daddy. The lake is lovely, and the house has many rooms. Our grandchildren could visit as often as they would like. Then the mommy said sadly, what about our cherry tree? The trunk is large, and its roots are deep. We could never move it again. You are right, the daddy said. We will have to choose. They drove to their old home and stood by the cherry tree. The mommy said, I love both houses. What shall we do? The daddy said, all living things must pass. Our cherry tree is old. We must think of our grandchildren and the joy they will have at the lake. The mommy thought and said, yes, we shall move. At this, the cherry tree's limbs drooped. Then the mommy added, but our sons must take a reminder of their old home. Suddenly the cherry tree lifted its branches and shook its leaves wildly. The mommy said, I think our cherry tree is calling, but I don't know what it's saying. We must ask our little boy. Surely he will understand the message. Just then the sky grew dark. Lightning struck. Bam! The, che the cherry tree crashed to the ground. The daddy called his son, who brought his little boy with him. All three listened to the, as the leaves rustled. What is it saying, the daddy asked his son. The boy shook his head. I have become too old to understand its messages. Then his little boy laughed and said, Can't you hear it? No, the grandpa said. Tell us. The grandson whispered to his grandpa. The grandpa said, Yes, it shall be done. That Thanksgiving was the last holiday in the old house. Everyone came for the feast. When dinner was over, the mommy handed each of her sons a bag, saying, This is a gift from our cherry tree. Then the daddy said, Its last message was that it wanted to come with us to our new house, but knew that it could not. It asked that each boy make something from its broken limbs. He should carry it with him to his home, and it would be part of his family forever. The first boy said, I will draw a picture of our cherry tree and make a frame with its branches. The next said, From its trunk I will carve a bowl. My family will use it every day. The third said, I will build a step stool to help my children reach what they need on their shelves. The last said, I will decorate my fireside with these beautiful logs. Then the daddy said, Next spring we will drive to the nursery and choose a new cherry tree or it will choose us, as our old cherry tree did long ago. The mommy said, we will plant it in a sunny place near the lake. Its branches will shade our grandchildren. Each year we will eat wonderful cherry pies. The boy and his brothers stood, remember, remembering the old tree and all the good things it had given them. They smiled and thought about the new home, where the mommy, the daddy, and the new cherry tree would live happily ever after.